Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating M estimators using SPSS. Oftentimes when calculating regression models, we use an M estimator instead of the mean because regression models are sensitive to outliers. And outliers can have a strong effect on the mean statistic. SPSS allows us to calculate four different M estimators. Huber's M estimator, Tukey's by weight estimator, Hampel's redescending M estimator, and Andrew's wave estimator. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, of the most interest would be the variable functioning and the variable symptoms. The variable functioning does not have any outliers, and the variable symptoms does have outliers. So first we'll generate a few graphs around functioning and symptoms. I'll go to graphs up top and then chart builder. And first I want a box plot. So I'm going to select box plot and simple box plot and drag that in and take a look at functioning in the Y axis. Click OK. And we can see from this box plot we have no outliers. Going back to graphs up here in the statistics viewer and back to chart builder. I'm going to put symptoms in the place of functioning, so it's now on the y-axis, and click OK. And we can see there are several outliers in this variable. These numbers correspond to the record in the data editor in SPSS. So the most extreme value here is record 38. I also want to take a look at the histograms, so go back to graphs and chart builder and I'll reset and go to histogram and drag the histogram into the chart preview and then I'm going to drag the variable functioning over to the x-axis then I'll click OK we'll take a look at this histogram and we can see that the data in functioning appear to be normally distributed going back to graphs and chart builder now I'm going to take symptoms and put in the place of functioning on the x-axis and click OK. And we can see that the observations contained in the symptoms variable do not appear to be normally distributed. Rather, this is an exponential distribution. So to calculate the M estimators, I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Explore. And the dependent list is going to be the two variables of interest, functioning and symptoms. Under statistics, I'm going to add M estimators. So by default, descriptives are already checked off. I'm just going to check off M estimators and click continue. Under plots, I'm going to uncheck stem and leaf and click continue. And then options will stay as default, exclude cases listwise. So explore is formatted. I'll click OK. And you can see we have descriptives generated for the variable functioning and the variable symptoms. The mean value here is of the most interest. For functioning, it's 50.26. And for symptoms, it's 11.06. So moving down the output, we have the M estimators. And you see we have all four that SPSS generates in one table. So you can see for functioning, which we know that variable was normally distributed or appeared normally distributed, and there were no outliers, you can see the estimators are all fairly close together, if not identical. 50.45, 50.46, 50.44, and 50.45. For symptoms, which is an exponential distribution, there are differences between the estimators. Although the value of Huber's M estimator and Hample's M estimator are fairly close together, and the value of Tukey's by weight estimator and Andrew's wave estimator are also fairly close together. So I'll offer a brief explanation of how these different estimators calculate this measure of central tendency. So looking at Huber's M estimator first, this estimator generates a coefficient and all of these standardized values below that coefficient 
are assigned a weight of 1. Larger absolute values are assigned smaller weights as they become increasingly extreme. Looking at Tukey's by weight estimator, the observations here are standardized and a zero is assigned to observations whose value exceed 4.685. And you can see that number down here, the weighting constant is 4.685. And smaller weights are assigned to scores that become increasingly extreme. Moving on to Hample's M estimator, here three coefficients are generated. And let's refer to these coefficients as A, B, and C. Standardized values that are greater than coefficient C are essentially deleted. Scores ranging from 0 to coefficient A are kept, and scores with a value between A and B are given weights that decrease as the values become increasingly extreme. Andrew's wave estimator uses a sine wave and that curve is the basis for adjusting the weights. Another important note in terms of this M estimators table, in this example I have two variables, but it does not matter how many variables are loaded in here or what scores the variables contain. These constants are always going to be the same. The weighting constant for Huber's M estimator, 1.339, the weighting constant for Tukey's by weight, 4.685. The three weighting constants for Hample's M estimator, 1.7, 3.4, and 8.5. And for Andrew's wave, the constant is 1.34 times pi. And again, these are constants. They will not change regardless of what variables are loaded in this table. I hope you found this video on generating M estimators and SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.